the 19-mile-long Gull Peninsula, just west of Swansea, it was designated the UK's first area of outstanding natural beauty more than 45 years ago, and continues to attract visitors from around the world. The Gower offers more than just beautiful beaches. There are picturesque villages, open moors, salt marshes and dune banks, and a diverse selection of habitats supporting a variety of flora and fauna. One of my favourites is Three Cliffs Bay, which inspired me to do this painting. It's a scenic sandy beach backed by three limestone cliffs and a spectacular shoreline of sand dunes, salt marsh and encrusted with rock pools. Bracelet Bay. Its rocky shoreline is award-winning and it's great for rock pooling for children. And ice cream. Two other popular beaches are Caswell Bay and Langland Bay. Caswell Bay is a family friendly beach with a coastal cliff walk around the Langland Bay. Rossilly Bay, with its three mile long sandy beach, was one of the few places in Wales where the Vikings invaded. The headland, called Worm's Head, comes from the Norse word Wurm, meaning dragon or serpent. Legend has it that the Vikings believed the island to be a sleeping dragon because of its shape. Port Einem is the most southerly point on the Goa and is thought to be named after 11th century Welsh prince, Einem. In Port Einem is St. Catog's Church. It is founded during the 6th century. The present building dates from the 12th century. In the churchyard is a memorial to the three lifeboat crew who lost their lives at sea in 1916. At the far end of Port Island Bay stands the 18th century ruin of the old salt house, originally extracting salt from the sea. Oxwich Bay, one of the most popular beaches in Gower. This old thatched cottage has gained fame for being the place in which John Wesley stayed. John Wesley was an English clergyman who was the leader of the revival movement in the Church of England, known as Methodism. San Geneth is the surfing capital of Goa, this mainly because it faces west and is a direct line of consistent swells that pour in from the mighty Atlantic. In the pretty village of Llanmadoc, named after St. Madoc, 
who is reputed to have formed a church here in the 6th century. This present building, the St. Maddox Church, is 13th century. Tor Bay is a large sandy beach, shaped like a horseshoe. There is always some sand even at high tide, and because it is enclosed and partially sheltered, it's very popular with bathers. The present church in Lanridian was built in the 13th century. One of the most distinctive features of Lanridian and its two standing stones, both positioned on the village green outside Llanridian Church. It is believed that this stone was once used as a village pillory. Apart from the beautiful beaches, in Gower you find plenty of old buildings, castles and old churches. Thanks again for watching. Please visit my website, link in the description below. Bye.